Black Panther Wakanda Forever released deleted scenes which would have entirely switched the outcome of this movie. One deleted scene in particular showed us who would have been the better leader of Wakanda. So in this cut scene, Okoye meets with the leader of her tribe. The scene would have come after the final battle, but before the waterfall challenge scene where M'Baku shows up to become king. Now Okoye is from the border tribe, and at this point she is no longer part of the Dora Milaje, so she's like in an interesting position politically. In the scene, the tribal leader says that Shuri is not a capable leader. She went after Namor for revenge, nearly destroying the entire nation just to follow her own passion. They see her as young, unwise, untested, and unfit. Shuri would make a terrible queen, but then he expresses the fear that Namor will strike again, and that a battle for the throne is coming. He is basically saying that there will be a Wakandan civil war, and that he thinks it's a good thing because a member of his tribe will rule over the nation. Okoye is somebody who has always followed tradition, but this scene would have tempted her with the throne. It directly sets up the sequel Black Panther 3, and it should have stayed in the movie. And if you want to know more, subscribe to our channel Screen Crush for the full video.